Hey there, Mouseketeers. Welcome to the Disneyland beat where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum. And we always whistle while we work. Well, we can't believe it, but we're back for round three in our Disneyland from Home series. Well, Walt Disney World is officially open. But the crowds will remain low for quite some time, and most of us are still having to get our Disney fix at home somehow. So we are thrilled to announce that we have found 11 new and different homemade Disneyland attractions to showcase. You guys are so creative, and we are way impressed. This is now over 30 different Disney attractions we have brought to you folks at home. It's really kind of amazing to us. And remember folks, the rules have been, it had to be done during quarantine and it had to be done with whatever you had nearby at your house. And as always with these, we'll put the links down in the description so everybody can go check out the full videos. And with that in mind, Mouseketeers, please join us on a virtual journey into the parks today as we look at 11 new and different homemade Disney attractions. Like, subscribe, and stick around. Hey, let's catch the monorail, let's hurry. YouTuber Tim Nidell caught the spirit of Main Street with this fun video. We can join him for a turkey leg and stop by the Main Street Silhouette Studio and get a cutout made. This was our favorite. It really made me miss Disneyland. We'll check in with him later. Well, let's head up to the station and catch the railroad into the parks. What do you say? Well, I hope we get engine number one, the original CK Holiday. YouTuber Train King Productions put together a fun trip on the Disneyland Railroad. As as we head over to the New Orleans station, we want to give a huge shout out to the Train King Productions for helping us dig up the content for this video. Thanks a lot. Let's listen to the train announcements. Hello, welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. We hope you've had a magical day today. Please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the passenger car at all times and supervise your children. And here we are at the station. Great job. Okay, let's head into Galaxy's Edge and take a spin on Rise of the Resistance. We're on Main Street. Panicking. You, you're refreshing your page. <laughs> okay, you've got, oh God, it's about to turn. Ready, it's gonna be eight o'clock. Five, four, three, two, Riley. Eleven. Yes, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Oh, group of the YouTubers Radventureland took us through the entire version of the ride. Even the newer rides are getting at-home treatment. And it's super cute. They got every section of the ride in there. And of course, we really love the live action sections. Enjoy, everyone. I'm here from the resistance. I'm here to break you out. See, the R stands for resistance. Okay. Your yellow straps. <laughs> Blasters, now be a good time. Wait, why are we going up? Ah! Then I will destroy you in the resistance. That was awesome. Great job, everyone. Let's head over to the far side of Fantasyland for a ride on It's a Small World. We were completely blown away by Leslie Davenport's version of It's a Small World at home. This really is one of the best efforts on this list. We were floored. It's super clever, cute, and creative. Well done. Well, in this virtual day at Disney, we can just park hop over at a DCA. And since it's so darn hot, I can't wait to go on a water ride. Grizzly River Run. The YouTubers, the Tassa Twins, put together this fantastic recreation of the famous raft ride at DCA. It's really just cute stuff. And we love that they create a fun narrative with the grizzly bear that joins the kiddos on the ride. Hey, what's that? What's what? There, it's a grizzly bear. No way. Ah! 
And just like us, whenever we ride this, the bear ends up soaked. Well, let's head around the corner and chill our wet bodies in the cold air conditioning of Ariel's Undersea Adventures. Here we go under the sea. This ride never has a line until it does. The YouTuber Maggie Grijalva created a very fun version of the attraction at her home. This one is absolutely hilarious. From the clamshell buggies to the bird transitions into Kiss the Girl, the dog in the hammock, slash boat and the King Triton finale. We love the Grijalvas. Well, to keep our Disney at Home attraction day going, we need to park hop again. This time, we're hopping all the way over to Animal Kingdom in Orlando. And in this park, one of our favorite rides is Dinosaur. Even if it borrows its layout from Disneyland's Indiana Jones, we think it's a great ride and a very underrated movie. The YouTuber Big Teaches Little makes great use of some sweet dinosaur-like terrain to recreate the attraction. There sure are a lot of dinosaurs out there. You just gotta have a sharp eye to see the little fellers. Well, that was thrilling. It's time to park hop once again across the Reedy Creek Improvement District to Hollywood Studios. And take a ride on the very thrilling Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. This ride is much missed by Disneylanders and we're always glad to grab a ride on the Disney World version whenever we can. The YouTuber Jason Lazinski and his family did a fantastic job of making this attraction at their home. And we loved how they recreated the pre-show video most of all. And the endless rides down the stairs look pretty fun, too. And we can round out our virtual trip to Orlando today with a visit to the Magic Kingdom. Onward to Tomorrowland, put it in O! The YouTuber Joshua Verkler put together a fantastic version of the Carousel of Progress from the Magic Kingdom. Oh, the Carousel of Progress. Really captures a slice of my life, anyhow. And these guys do really capture that forward-thinking spirit. We love the futuristic exercise machine. And that is one cute dog. And it's actually really nice to hear the song. Put that away before your mother sees it. Aw, Dad! We hope we find our great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Well, Mouseketeers, as much fun as our visit in Orlando has been, it's time to head back to Disneyland for the evening spectaculars. Tonight's first show is Fantasmic. And we have to confess, we did show a version of this one before on our channel. A great version for sure, but they did not tackle the entire performance quite like this one does. And as this version was actually put on by us in our backyard... Well, we will just let the images speak for themselves. <laughs> folks. Our version of Fantasmic. As we settle in for the final show of the evening, we check back in with Tim Nidell as he enjoys his 4th of July fireworks dreaming about Disneyland. Thanks for watching, Mouseketeers. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a bunch of content for you to watch. But we are in our first year still. So there's still so much more to come. See you real soon, Mouseketeers. See you real soon. 